I'm watching The Temporary Collapse of Texas is Foreshadowing the Total Collapse of the United States by Epic Economist. I don't remember when last year, but I, <laughs> I remember that I did it and it was last year. I tried to get in contact with the local power company, a division of a southern company. Yeah, southern company. So that I could work with them, help them set up a system that isn't dependent on one little thing. Well, well, now they have proof that uh, in the event something fucked up happens, the whole system will just crumble like a snowflake, being exposed to the bitter hard truth. No, that wasn't a snow joke. <laughs> so what, what I was trying to tell them... Um, was quite simply, I would like to help you guys set up a system that uses a combination of wind, solar, uh, geothermal, uh, fucking almost everything that's currently available, along with an energy recycling system. Redesign fucking light fixtures. Yeah. You could move the uh, little bit of fucking aluminum sheathing around those and put fucking solar electric or photovoltaic or whatever you want to call them panels inside spaced well enough away from the light as well as thermal couplings which generate a small residual electric charge. You put enough of those together in series or parallel or both or combination of the two in some form. It generates extra electricity that can go right back onto the grid. You wean yourself, the power company, you wean yourself and all the people off of the system that relies so heavily on being dependent. And you switch to a system where you charge people for routine maintenance and then you, you go out of your way to have your people who are doing the maintenance explain how to do the maintenance to the people whose homes it's in that way every home is generating a small amount that can go out and sustain the grid so that the power plants can be lowered in what they're doing to the point where eventually you switch over to a decentralized power grid. Yeah, haha, very funny. Somebody might want to make a fucking blockchain cryptocurrency Bitcoin joke there. <clears throat> but the idea was from watching Star Trek. More specifically, all the episodes with the Borg in them. Their network of everything is decentralized throughout the entire Borg ship. Every node simultaneously can function to do every job on the ship, even to the point where Yay, so much of it gets destroyed, but it's still functioning as a whole. You guys know the school. The one where Q flicks the fucking Enterprise into the path of a Borg ship. And they destroy like 25% of it with their phasers on maximum power setting. Basically overcharging it to the point where the phaser array is about to blow out. They punch a hole right through it. Phaser beam goes off into space. Whee! Not to be seen or heard from again. 
and they beam over and oh my god it's still functioning and then they discover oh my god it's repairing itself what was I going on about again oh yeah decentralizing the power system every home both consuming some amount of electricity on the grid and producing some amount to be put back on a grid along with uh, a minimum of a 72 hour battery backup homes need to be redesigned massively not just to be uh, eco-friendly by itself, but to be energy efficient, as well as to produce some level of energy so that in the event a power plant goes down, you've got thousands of homes that can put a small charge in together, that snowballs up into a big amount of charge on the grid to keep someone going until the, the main thing can be fixed. <clears throat> so this is a combination of things. Get a solar panel on every roof. Get a small wind turbine that's not so large that it'll fall over in the wind on every house somewhere properly cemented into the ground so it doesn't rip up the moment straight line winds breeze through and knock trees down. Get geothermal taps in areas where it makes sense like the Yellowstone National fucking Park! And what else? Those big hydroelectric ones. Dams. You can make smaller versions of those. And instead of thinking about it, oh yeah, you just slap some solar panels and things, and all those horribly inefficient, it's not about efficiency. Not with doing it in mass, with solar cells, it's economy of scale type thing. It's where the more you have going, the more viable it is. Up to a certain point. That's why you need more than one passive, eco-friendly, nearly self-sustaining energy system in place. Another thing I was trying to get in touch with a power company about was... We set up the system so that it's basically modular, plug-and-play, like Lego bricks, only with electricity flowing through them. As I know those exist. So you've got your, your passive generator, like a solar panel. Then you plug that into um, something that's called a jewel thief or a jewel ringer that takes a small charge and steps it up to a much larger one. You run that through the um, converter or inverter, whatever you want to say it, so that it's going from direct current to alternating current. And... You put that alternating current through whichever variation of the uh, capacitor banks that even out the curve in the alternating current so that it's not full of uh, what AVE calls chatter, electrical um, noise. With a wave curve, it's not perfectly smooth on electricity. It's got little spikes in it. So you, you run that through the capacitor bank, and it smooths out the curve a little so that the electricities aren't registering as spikes all over the place so that you're not overcharging people for electricity while you're switching over to a maintenance-based charging system instead of relying heavily on, oh, you use so many kilowatt hours this month, it's time to charge you for that. 
yeah, this is one example of weaning humanity holistically off of the butt fuckery of money currency fallacies. So, I've explained as much as I can. I didn't see this particular event, like the snowstorms in Texas, happening. That truly is a unforeseen event, a black swan event. What happened with the stock market and the coronavirus, its real name is the Pac-Man virus, that, that's not a black swan event. One happens every 100 years. You think with nearly 300 years of American history, you fucks would know that by now. Fucking morons. You think with thousands of years of human history that are recorded and documented since the fucking 15th century or earlier, talking about a virus outbreak, the plague, the Black Death, the Red Death, Blah, 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 blah. Every 100 years like clockwork, you think your fucking mongoloids would get it down pat. That this is the pattern. This is what happens. It's not a black swan event. Fucking idiots. Seriously. Fucking idiots. Now, the weather going all screwy like it did with snowing in Texas. Which. I don't know the last time it snowed in Texas. I know the last time it got really cold in Texas, but don't think it snowed last time. That, that is something that you do not expect. That's not really well documented and put into the mindset of the average person. I know I'm not the average person, but I didn't even, I didn't even suspect it would happen. I know it was possible. Anything is possible, but I never suspected that it would. So, if if they had, <laughs> if they had had solar panels, the efficiency of those solar panels would have risen by like five percent because they work much better when they're cold. If you want to hear me yammer on about setting up solar panels and the stuff I've learned. And an integrated cooling system to drain off the heat and sink it into fucking thermal couplings or thermal converters or whatever you want to fucking call them. Yeah, go right ahead. Ask away. I could go on for fucking ages. But I've gone on long enough already. I've yammered about poor nonsensical whimsy. And the Borg from Star Trek. I've gone all over the place. Yeah, till next time. Links in the description. Throw some fallacy credits my way so that uh, I can support my addiction, my bad habit. I jest. It's not an addiction or a bad habit. So I can get drunk and fuck off in games. Maybe it'll be funny for you. I don't know. Bye.